Hello people of YouTube! Alright, this is my video on how I make homemade, from scratch, chicken noodle soup. And if you haven't already seen my um, video on how I make a baked chicken, I highly recommend watching that first before going through the steps on this video. Because um, I used the carcass and the leftover meat from that baked chicken to make my soup. So in here, um, in the same pot in which I brined the chicken, uh, it's the biggest pot that we own, I already have some water going on in here and I actually, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, can't really see it, let me, well there you go, you can kind of see it. That's actually a cow bone. I just saved that bone from the last time I made bone broth and I put it in here because it's just going to add more minerals and yumminess <laughs> to my chicken broth and I kind of like um, the broth of the chicken noodle soup to be very complex and flavorful so I think most people do anyway so this is leftovers from the carcass I stripped as much of the meat as I could off the bone and in there I also have the fat like the skin and the fat and all that jazz um, you can pick the fat out if you want I don't mind it because I know that this is a free range you know, organic happy chicken from a local farm. Um, so I trust it and I, I trust the fat. So, trust the fat. <laughs> so this is actually the meat, all the meat that we pulled off. It was a huge chicken. So my husband and I, we each ate a leg and a thigh <laughs> between yesterday and today. So this is mostly breast meat and the meat off the back. Um, I guess the first thing I'm gonna throw in there are the veggies that I use to flavor the broth. This is just a carrot, uh, a small carrot, um, a small celery stick, a small to medium sized onion that I just peeled and cut in half, and then two large, fairly large cloves of garlic that I peeled and just cut in half. So I'm going to throw this in um, just so that it can add the flavor. Alright, next the spices. Um, on top of the seasoning that's already like embedded in the chicken uh, from my seasoning and baking of it yesterday, I, I like to use three bay leaves because three is a number for me, a magical number. So three bay leaves, that goes in. Three pieces of star anise, that goes in. And then I, here I have six cloves and 21 peppercorns, all multiples of three, because, you know, that's my thing. And I use the star anise and the cloves because I am obsessed with that Vietnamese soup called pho. Um, cloves and peppercorns and star anise are a few, not all, but a few of the spices that they use. The other spices I didn't have on hand, so I'll live without them. But they add a beautiful warmth to the broth of your soup. So the next thing I'm going to do is add all these um, bones and chunks of skin and fat. <laughs> First, let me give you a quick note on bullion cubes. This is my rant on bullion cubes. I know we live in a fast-paced world and I know the temptation is there to use them instead of cooking down the bones and making the broth by scratch. But please, please promise me <laughs> and promise yourself that you're not going to use them if you can help it. I know time constraints and kids and work and partners and blah, blah, blah. Please don't use them. Especially the type of bullion cubes that you can find in your typical supermarket or at Walmart. You know what I'm talking about? The McCormick bullion cubes in the little glass jar. Just take a sneak peek on at the ingredients list the next time you feel the urge to cheat. <laughs> You'll notice fake dyes like yellow dye number five and things like monosodium glutamate, MSG. Those are chemicals, those are fake 
preservatives and I know people who are allergic to MSG and it gives them migraines so even if you're not overtly allergic to MSG imagine what it could be doing in your body. I would rather you buy the pre-made chicken stock or chicken broth in the cardboard um, containers or even in a can as long as it doesn't have MSG. I would rather you use that stuff instead of using bullion cubes if you can help it, please. So a side note, if you're a vegetarian or if you grew up eating meat and you grew up eating your mom's or your grandma's delicious chicken noodle soup but now you're vegetarian and you really miss that flavor I have a recommendation for you and it is a bouillon cube but it's not a bouillon cube with MSG it's kinda hard to find you might have to go to a store like Whole Foods or Earth Fair or some sort of hippie co-op thing um, chances are they'll carry it but this is the brand it's Edward and Sons not chicken bouillon cubes. It's gluten free, it's vegan, alright, and it's delicious. It says not chicken, no trans fats, vegan recipe, seasoned soups, stews, and pilafs. And the best thing is, I recognize all the ingredients on the back. Sea salt, organic expeller pressed palm oil, yeast extract, organic evaporated cane juice, organic garlic, maltodextrin, organic mace spice. They're little bouillon cubes. Let me show you what they look like. They do not have MSG. So if you're in a pinch and you have to use a bouillon cube, or if you're vegetarian but you miss your mom's chicken noodle soup, use a few of these. They come in the little foil squares, okay? That's my rant on MSG. Okay, back to the kitchen. All right, back in the kitchen. So I have all my chicken bones and all the ingredients in there. So, and I can tell you, this already smells amazing. So I have this on medium to medium high heat. I'm going to let it reach a, uh, a gentle boil. I'm going to leave the lid off so that the bones and everything start to break down and releasing their flavor. Um, just have to keep an eye on it because remember the point of this is to get the broth for your soup so we don't want to lose too much of it through evaporation. Alright, while this is doing its thing I'm going to prepare the rest of the soup. See you there. All right. I had to increase the heat a little bit. So now we got our bones and everything for our broth boiling away, gently boiling, with the lid off so the flavors can condense. And this other pot over here, I just put some olive oil to just kind of lube up the veggies that I'm going to saute really quickly. <laughs> um, and here are the ingredients, seasoning for when I do the veggies in this pot because the soup is ultimately going to be cooked in here. Italian seasoning, just some more herbs, the Trader Joe's 21 seasoning salute again. You might recognize that from when I baked the chicken in my other video. Black pepper. And this is just sea salt. Might not even need sea salt, depends on um, what kind of flavors I get from the boil, the bones being boiled down and from the drippings. Whenever I bake the chicken, I bake it in a fairly large, almost looks like a turkey roasting pan with a lid and I include a couple inches of water um, at the bottom of the pan with some veggies thrown in for flavor. So the water catches the drippings and the flavor of the chicken and the veggies. So I collected that liquid when I was cleaning up yesterday after baking the chicken. And I don't know if you can tell, but this is a solid at this point. It was in the refrigerator overnight. And you see that this layer of 
like olive oil that was cooked off the chicken and fat that's risen to the top. I'm going to take this spoon and skim all that off, put it in my um, garbage bag here. And then the rest of this is going to be used to flavor my soup. So let me show you, I'll give you a start and show you how I just kind of skim the top layer off. Like so. Put it in the garbage. All right. Skim it off. Put it in the garbage. So I'm going to keep doing that later, but let me show you the rest of the ingredients first. All this leftover chicken. Um, I just chopped one onion, three carrots, three celery stalks. Here are the noodles I'm going to use. These are just the noodles that we had in the cupboard. You can use whatever kind of noodle you want, or rice. Um, you can use spaghetti noodles even. But I just like these noodles and it's what we already had so there you go and something that I've actually never used before but I've been using a lot of spinach lately in my cooking spinach uh, I in general I like to add some greens because they're so full of you know vitamins and minerals I've just been buying the spinach lately because I guess it's been on sale um, and spinach has such a delicate flavor it's not really going to compromise the flavor of the soup so I'm just going to toss in a few handfuls of this for extra nutrition and the color is beautiful. So, alright, I'll show you guys my progress as I go along. See you then. Alright, as you can probably hear, the veggies that I put in the pot are already starting to fry up in that olive oil. I went ahead and put a little bit of black pepper in there just for flavor plus I had to do it before I picked up the camera because I need both of my hands for the pepper grinder. So I put the carrots and the onion in first. So now I'm going to add a little bit of this Trader Joe's 21 seasoning. Just a little bit. There we go. And then some of the Italian seasoning for some fresh, or not fresh, dried herbs. Alright, that should be good. That is boiling away, which is good. And now, after I let the onions and carrots cook down, and once the carrots start to soften up a little bit, then I'm going to put the celery. The celery is, in general, one of, if not the last, veggies you want to toss in. So, when I throw that in, I'll show you guys, so I'll see you in a couple minutes. It's been raining for like three days here in Georgia. So, as I've been making a lot of these videos lately, this is the sound you've probably heard in the background. Woo! There's some lightning. Love me a good summer storm. And hey, free car wash, right? That's my new blue car right there, getting a free bath. Okay, going back inside. Alright, we're back in the kitchen, safe from the storm. Now that my carrots and onions have started to soften and cook down, I'm going to go ahead and add my celery. You can probably hear the lightning in the background. Stir that up a little bit. beautiful colors in there. And I'm also going to add the drippings from the chicken yesterday. You can see I scraped off most of the fat. Um, it's still a solid natural gelatin, which is really good. It's really healthy for you. Um, if it's, you know, organic and free range and all that fun stuff. So I'm just going to kind of bloop, <laughs> blop that back in there and let this melt down and this is packed full of flavor so I'll let this cook down and then the next thing I add will be the actual leftover meat okay 
Okay, as you can see, the gelatin has melted, and man, between this and the stock I got going on in this pot, it smells awesome in here. So now it's time to add all the meat, and man, I've been picking at this all morning. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Oh, we got a big old pot of meat in here. Okay. I might actually have a lot of that stock left over, but that's okay. I'll just incorporate it in my other cooking. So I'm going to let this kind of mellow out and let the temperature get back up before I add the stock. Okay, see you then. Okay, I had a little snafu in the kitchen, but crisis averted. I realized that this pot was not big enough to actually cook the soup in um, because there was so much leftover meat. I'm not used to having that much leftover meat. So I had to take the bone broth that I was preparing in here, um, strain that into a third pot, put what was in this pot back into here, and then put the broth from the third pot back into here because I realized I should have just started cooking the soup in this huge pot from the very beginning. But anyway, like I said, crisis averted. I went ahead and threw in a few handfuls of fresh spinach and I also added probably around three cups of water because once this kind of not gets up to a boil but gets close to a boil I'm gonna go ahead and add the noodles now that we have a pot big enough to handle them. <laughs> so I'll show you guys the end product when I sit down and have lunch. Okay, see you then. And here we are, the final product. A delicious and beautiful chicken noodle soup hot off the presses. <laughs> Alright, I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you think. And have a beautiful day. Bye.